convince somebody of the following claim, that if a, b, and c are even integers, and a plus b plus c is equal to negative 1, then a, b minus b, c is bigger than or equal to 0. Now in our discussion, what I'd like to first bring our attention to is that if we look at the consequent, and let a be 2, and let b be 4, and then b would have to be 4, and c be, let's say, some other number like 6, notice they're all even integers, we actually get 8 minus 24, which is negative 16, and that's not bigger than or equal to 0, that's actually less than 0. So this shows that the consequent is actually false. So that might lead us to believe that this claim isn't even true. However, if we look at the antecedent, a, b, and c are even integers, so a could be, let's say, 2 times k for some integer, b would equal to 2 times some other integer, let's say l, and c can be 2 times another integer, which would be m, possibly. Then, what would that imply? Well, then a plus b plus c would have to be 2k plus 2l plus 2m, which is 2 times k plus l plus m, but this right here, since it's 2 times an integer, would be an even integer. However, the antecedent says that that's supposed to be equal to negative 1. Negative 1 is odd because why? Well, because negative 1 can be written as 2k plus 1. This is a different k now, so let's keep it separate. It can be written as 2k plus 1. Subtract 1 from both sides. Negative 2 is equal to 2k and then divide by 2, and we get that negative 1 equals to k. So we're saying that this thing on the left, which has to be even, is somehow equal to negative 1, which in reality is actually an odd number. So the antecedent of the claim is actually false, and that means the overall claim is assigned a t truth value because it is what we call vacuous. It's a vacuous statement in which the antecedent is just never true. So now, based on that little discussion, can you make a proof of this claim? Pause the video, give it your best shot, and assuming you've paused and tried this on your own, let's come over here, take the same claim, and let's prove this. So claim, proof. We will show that this claim is vacuously true vacuously true. Okay, suppose A, B, and C are even integers. Right, what does it mean to be even integers? Thus, there are integers K, L, and M with a equals 2k, b equals 2 times l, and c equals 2 times m. Then, what do we notice about a plus b plus c? That would be equal to 2k plus 2l plus 2m, 2 times k plus l plus m, which is even since k plus l plus m is an integer. However, since negative 1 is odd, the antecedent is false and the claim is vacuously true. So because we were able to establish that the antecedent of this if-then statement was just categorically false, that means overall the statement is true. And that completes a vacuous proof.